Okay. Good morning. I will be taking this course, electrical circuit. Uh, okay. My name is Shake Dubuque. I graduated from, I have completed my BSc from AIU. Then that was in electrical and electronic engineering. Then I went for my degrees uh, in Sweden. energy and circuit elements, okay? So there will be lecture slides and I'll be following certain books. I, I'll give you the name of the book. Also, I'll give you the reference book that you can study from. You can also follow the lecture videos in YouTube as well. So you can take help and you can come to my office anytime. I sit in the second floor use the lift, uh, two is uh, my uh, position, okay? So you can come at any time, any time, because you are directly, I'm your course teacher in this subject, so there is no time bound for you to come and visit me, okay? So if you have any problem related to your course, come to me. Don't be shy, okay? So this is the first topic that I will be covering uh, in my first lecture. Maybe I won't be able to finish all of them, but a certain part. Then I will go back to basic laws of electrical circuits. So do you know what are the basic laws of electrical circuits? So basically, our basic laws which are Ohm's law. Ohm's law which is Okay. So, 
these are the laws we will be studying. We will be also studying the series circuits, parallel circuits, series parallel circuits. So this kind of circuits we have analyzed. We will also look through delta y conversion, uh, vice versa. Okay, from white delta to white transformation. So these are the things we will be covering. We will try to cover before midterm. Also, uh, we will be uh, covering methods of analysis. So there are several methods of analysis which is used to solve circuits uh, in, in this field, okay? In electrical engineering. So we will be covering those. The methods of analysis are rotation analysis and number analysis. We will be talking extensively about those topics as well. So this is the course plan that I have made. I will be following uh, this and I will be uploading these materials in ERP. Do you have any knowledge about ERP? Uh, so uh, you have to uh, always log into that every day, in every day basis. Because all the lecture slides, all the lecture materials, all the notices will be published there. Okay, so you will get those materials over there. Even the soft copy of the book that we will be following will be provided. Okay, so you go there, download it, put it in your computer, try to uh, use them to solve every uh, course materials. Okay, so I will be giving you the video links as well, so you can go to YouTube and follow the lectures that is being recorded over. Here. So, this is how we will be conducting every class. Okay. And I will be talking about the course details how the marks distribution is made for midterm and final term as well. So, there will be basically uh, assignments in every class, maybe uh, two marks assignments. But those are very crucial because those will be added in the uh, assignment part uh, later on uh, with the final grade. So we'll try to solve those. Okay. And maybe uh, I'll be giving you assignments based on your results as well later on. So just keep in mind. Okay. All the assignments will be designed in such manner that. Uh, Process will be same, but your answer with his answer will never be match. Okay, so I'll be designing those problems with ID numbers, but don't get uh, uh, confused or don't be frightened or uh, afraid of those because these are very basic problems. So you'll be able to design them by yourself or solve them by yourself. Okay. So try to follow the lectures. You'll be you'll be doing very good in this subject. Okay? So all my electrical uh, students, not the CSE ones, but the, those who got admitted in electrical circuit, the regular students, they have done extremely good in their final exam because they attended all the lectures. They followed. They asked me questions related to whatever lectures I am giving here, so they have done really good in the final term. And they have almost got A plus, A, A minus, so at this range. So I think you'll be able to do far better than the, if there are CSE students, you'll be able to uh, do very good, okay, based on your activities. Anyways, uh, Marks distribution that I was talking about, the quiz will carry around uh, 10 marks. Okay? But uh, that 10 mark will be divided into maybe 3 or 4 quizzes. So each quiz will carry 25 or 20 marks and convert that to uh, some percentage. Okay? Then I'll add those quizzes to add up your 10 marks in the your assignment, your lab reports, we also add up some marks. Uh, that is around 10 marks. Your attendance 
say it's mandatory because that will add 10 marks to your final term. So 10, 10, 10, and your mid term will carry 30 marks. Okay. Out of 30 marks, you have to score very good to get A plus. So don't be afraid, don't be nervous. Ask me any question or ask me anything you don't understand inside the class. Maybe you can ask me directly over here or you can come to my room anytime. Okay? I'll help you out in everything. So, how do we shy people? I will ask a question for you on the key topic. Don't think that. You will ask a question for you on the key topic. So, you will ask a question for you on the key topic. Okay? So, I will ask you. So, the other a basic idea of the electrical circuit is not going to be a final term. The final term is 40 marks. Out of 40 marks, you have to score good to get a points. Okay, 30, 35, you know, to the midterm, you have to get a midterm edition of the unit. In that case, my mother may do a higher grade than I have. I thought I paid by 30 years from the school for the lower A plus to get it. But I expect you to do good. Okay? So study. So on the RTE course, we get to a lot of program. Do you want me to tell you about the study? Yes. How many courses? Physics and school. How many courses? Chemistry, JCM, and uh, uh, study. Study. Uh, on course. So, either you have to come on the first department course. So, you have to come on the first That equally a 40 months. Sir, why are you on the meter? 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 Why are you Admission will be that way to be. So, we can let the other big term term and exclude for it. But the more final term is being marked the power, which are the percentage the other big term may have. The more final term will be the Jewish power, big term may have the Jewish power. Okay? So, Jewish power. Okay? So, we will the percentage in the form of the one big term may have marked that. So, that is fair. So, we will start with time to time. We will start with time to time. So, we will start with So, we will start with time to time. 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 So, we will start with time to that the series circuit shampoo के अंदर के idea भी तो तब parallel circuit shampoo के idea भी तो तब वो parallel circuit के voltage current की वजह से होते हैं voltage divider रूल current divider रूल एक लकी एक 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 लकी है ना भी तो वो तो lecture भी तो तब वो ले वो तो equal circuit equal resistance की वजह से होते हैं बा why did the transformation of the shampoo a related topic to learn here, I'm going to extensively discuss the whole mathematical problem for you. That's for methods of analysis, mesh analysis, actually. Mesh analysis, there are two important mesh of the vector, which is a normal mesh, vector is a super mesh.
that for soap transformation, heavily curing, that for maximum uh, power transfer curing, normal curing. Uh, so, in English, I'm talking about very sensitive code. Which I am going to cover for just a little bit. Can the operation amplifier support be used? Data basically, I'm going to use the CCI PCI.
citing them, which are not really important words. Those are showing a positive attributes. Okay? And to make a PA out there on a call plan. To make a PA on a digital report. From a monitor page, a completely intended game, how to resolve the graduate for graduation now.
for I want to take proposal in the future to be almost student get to the party. which are sources, which have uh, powers by themselves, like batteries, okay? So, uh, so those are active components 
are transistors. Uh, those have uh, certain powers. And uh, passive components are resistors, capacitors, diodes. Because the number of the number of the number of the number of the So an electrical circuit as a is an interconnection of electrical elements. These elements can be active as these elements can be passive. So active elements are those like sources, okay, which has powers, which possesses power by themselves. And uh, passive elements are resistors, diodes, capacitors, and everything. Also, light bulbs, those do not glow by themselves. We need to provide some electric power to them, right? So, most of the real life circuits are much more complex, right? So, and we have many components. So, we need to analyze those complex circuits using several basic laws and theorems, and also methods of analysis. So, so these are basically described in the first slides. The analyze, analysis of the circuit by studying the behavior of the circuit. So we do analyze those circuit by studying the behavior of it and understand how does it respond to a given input. So if we provide an input to a circuit, so uh, suppose we have an electrical circuit, there is an input. We supply that and we get response at the output side. So there is an input, there is an output. Okay? So the basic flow diagram looks like this in the slide. There is an input, there is a network which is which we call a circuit, and then we have a response according to the input. It depends on that input. Okay. So this is the first slide. And in the second slide, so, if there is a circuit, so if there is a flow of electricity, how does an electricity flow? So, there are components like charges and currents, right? So, what are charges basically? How we can explain the charges? Uh, can you tell? Charge, you know, I'm explain what you know. Basically, charge is an electrical property of the atomic particles of which matter consists. So, yeah. I'll show you one uh, video of how to demonstrate a charge. Okay, so that is a very interesting video. Uh, before explaining the whole charge, let me first skip this. So basically, a charge is an electrical property of the atomic particle of which matter consists. So each atom basically consists of electrons, protons, and neutrons. You know that already. Neutron has mass but doesn't have any charge inside. The nucleus of it is basically made of neutrons and protons. Okay? The protons have positive charge and the electrons have negative charge. Those electrons basically revolve in an orbit around the nucleus, just like the sun and arc. Okay? The arc rotates in an orbit around the sun, right? So this is how an atom works, the structure of an atom. Okay. 
So those electrons basically have negative charge. Okay, the protons have positive charge. Well, what is the amount of charge one electron consists? It's 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So this much coulomb of charge is present in one electron. And proton has same amount of charge present in it, but it has positive sign. Okay? So proton is basically positive. But it has the same amount of charge as electron. Electron has negative charge. Okay? So a coulomb of charge has 1 by 1.60 to into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Okay? This much of electron is present in one coulomb of charge. Okay? To me, to charge the charge. 1.60 2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb of charge is present in one electron. Now, a coulomb of charge to me easily be put out a coulomb of charge and the photo electron packing. We have to easily be put out of So electric charge flows follows the law of uh, conservation. Okay. So the law of conservation evolves. The charge can neither be created nor be destroyed. So it can be transferred from one to another. Okay. Or it can be uh, transferred from one form to another form. Okay. But it can never be destroyed or not be created. It is already present. Okay. So let me show you one example uh, from the YouTube video that a, a professor made. It's a very nice video of how to present the charge over here. So if you see from here that there are two metal balls. Okay. So these two metal balls are different. These have both positive and negative charge present inside it, and they are touching each other. When they are touching each other, it forms one metal. So it acts as one metal. But if you separate them, it becomes two separate metals. Okay? When you touch them, the positive and negative charge both are present in these two metal balls. But how to demonstrate charge over here? Okay. So this can be done using a Teflon rod and a Teflon tip. So if you rub a Teflon uh, rod with a uh, with a cloth, then the Teflon rod becomes negatively charged. That we know. Okay. So how do we show that over here? How do we demonstrate that? Let's see the video and explain that. So this is what is explained over here in this blackboard. So these are basically the two metal balls when you bring the Teflon rod near it. Okay. So I will demonstrate that. Uh, maybe not his uh, lecture, but uh, what, whatever happening over here. I will make the video and explain it by myself, okay? So let's start the video. So here are two metal balls, they are touching each other, so it acts as one metal. So that is what this uh, physicist is explaining over here. But if you separate them, 
it acts as two separate metal bonds. Okay, so it has both positive and negative charge present over here, but they are not separate. So how do we basically charge these metal bonds? So that will be explained over here. So he is basically rubbing with a cloth uh, this Teflon rod and bringing it close to this metal ball when they are touching each other. So when you are bringing it close, this Teflon rod is negatively charged. So it attracts all the positive charge near the first metal ball, okay? And it is repelling the negative charge on the second ball, okay? So if that happens, when you put the Teflon rod close to one of the metal ball and separate the metal, so the first metal ball becomes positively charged and the second becomes negatively charged, okay? So if you again drop the Teflon tip with your claw, the Teflon tip we know that becomes negatively charged, okay? So now you know that we have positive charge attracted towards it and negative charge present in this second ball. Now the negative charge present in the Teflon tip, if you bring it close to it, it will basically repay. Never touch this ball. Right? Because both are negatively charged. You know the negative charge basically repels. The two negative charge, if you bring close to them, it repels. Right? So he is trying to bring this Teflon tape near the negative ball, but it is repelling. That is what is shown over here. See? It is repelling. It is not touching that ball. But if you bring this negative tape near the first metal ball it attracts because it contains positive charge, right? So positive negative attracts, negative negative repels. So from here you can understand that the first metal ball is positively charged and the second one is negatively charged. Now you can also see it if you observe closely in this point. There is a transfer of electron, you will see a spark when you bring them very close to each other. See? There is a transfer. There is a transfer of electron when you bring them close. So from here, you can understand how a charge acts. So this is a very nice demonstration. Okay? So let us go back to to the slide again, we will explain it after a few uh, minutes. Okay. Sir, I think other the two most of the students are from Bengali we can pick up from the just one explain to Bangla and share. I'm sure. Now I'll tweet a little of the bathroom of the cool work that's in the cabinet. Yeah. So basically, this electrical charges follow the law of conservation of energy, right? So the charge can neither be created nor can be destroyed, but it can transfer from one form to another form. How do we uh, at the source of the register the kind of form? At the electrical source, it will Negative. 
But you should also know that that electron flows in the other direction, in the reverse direction. Jadi ke current flow korte, tar ultra direction ne electron flow hote. On for us. So, in the general, jahan current flow hote, ek jee resistor, ek resistor tar ek current flow ke baata dikhe. Depending on the value of this resistor, it will prevent this current flow in this direction. Okay. So basically, the current will be reduced. So in reducing it, it will be a work done, have a work done. So the work in respect of the resistor will be heated up. Right. So this electrical energy is basically converted to heat energy. ट्रांसफर So, as we move on to our next class, we will see in the next class that we will see in the next class that we will see in the next class that we will see in the next class. Charge, voltage, current, so we will see in the next class that we will see in the next class.